In this video, we'll show you how to get going with the live rider biomechanics assessment. This feature lets you capture a rider's position instantly, in real time, giving immediate feedback. It's very easy to use. All you need is your phone or iPad and a rider. The rider doesn't need to wear any special clothing, just what they normally wear, although baggy clothing may not give accurate results. As you're about to see, all you need to do is click through to the live assessment and then point your phone or iPad at the horse and rider. The app will automatically start tracking the rider. When you're ready to start recording the assessment, just tap the start recording button. Then tap it again when you're done. Give the assessment a meaningful name. If you don't enter anything in the reference box, the assessment will automatically be named none. The results are ready as soon as you press the save key. For more info about the results, see our rider results video. For now, it's enough to say that the rider's position is color coded. Green means that part of the position is good, amber means it's okay and red means there's something to work on. The app also gives you suggestions for exercises, based on your results. Again we'll talk about that in more detail in a separate video. The app can be useful for different people in different ways. You can video from the side to get a measurement of the rider's upper body, hand and lower leg position. Or from the back or front to see if their shoulders and hips are level or if they're leaning off to one side. If you're a trainer, you can use it to show your clients what it is you're seeing. It's a great visual learning tool. The immediate results mean you can show the rider the results straight away and then immediately get to work on making improvements. It's easy to share results and videos with other app users, we'll cover that in another video. Your clients can then track their progress as they work with you to improve their performance. Alternatively, for individual riders, it's a great way to keep tabs on your position. It's so hard to know, when you're riding on your own, if you're sitting straight or if you're tipping forwards or dropping a shoulder. The app can give you feedback anytime, anywhere. You'll just need someone to video you, but it's so straightforward you don't need them to be an expert in horses or cameras to do it. You can run four biomechanics assessments for free. After that you'll need to subscribe. You can choose the basic subscription, which gives you 30 assessments per month or the pro subscription which gives you unlimited assessments. Both subscriptions have the option of monthly or annual subscriptions. The annual subscription works out cheaper, 12 months for the price of 10, but the monthly subscription gives you flexibility. We all know horses go lame and riders get injured. If you pause or cancel your subscription at any point, you'll still be able to access all your results and videos. You'll just not be able to share them with anyone or run new assessments until you resubscribe. A couple of tips for getting the best results. Keep the assessments short. The main results you get from the assessment shows the average throughout the whole video. That means if you've filmed the rider in walk, trot and canter, you'll get a results that's averaged over all three paces. So keep it short. To improve. Want to see how your horse's paces are progressing? The app can do that too. Of course, you could film a transition, or a simple change, or even a flying change. If you're filming from the side, try to do it on a circle. Stand at X, for example, and have them ride a 20 meter circle around you. If filming from the back, you'll want to make use of the zoom function. Simply pinch the screen like you would on the regular camera app. You could stand in the corner to film the long side. Or across the long diagonal. Filming on the center line is a real test of straightness. You can change the default setting on the app so that it automatically goes straight to the live rider biomechanics setting. You can also select the rider you're filming from your rider list. If you don't have this particular rider on the list, you can add them. Once selected, by default the app will automatically add the rider's name to the beginning of the reference. If you find this annoying, you can turn this feature off in the app settings section. You can also change the app's visualization of the rider's position. The app is on part dressage by default. If you choose full, the app will show extra lines when filming from the front or back. You can also turn off the performance color coding, that is green being good etc, by selecting none. If there's no rider in the shot, the app will give you a heads up with this message. As soon as you point it at a rider, it'll go away. The app will also track a person when they're not on a horse. 
Why not test your balance off the horse or on an exercise ball? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us.